Good morning, everyone. I am a little bit early, but I was ready. I'm halfway through my hot chocolate, so I thought I would join you. There are a few of you here already. Um, Carolyn is here. Hello, sweet peeps. Hi. Luminaria. Good morning, Shana peeps. Good morning. And there's a kitty in the box. I always love it when you guys pick your emojis and stick with your emojis. Oh, and I've just had a notification to say, yes, I've gone live. That's, that's always nice. So um, how is everyone today? I am very sleepy, very, very sleepy. I have um, not had a good couple of days, but never mind. It is what it is. So yeah. Anyway, says hello everyone. Interesting UK is here. Hello both of you. Mm. So I was meant to come back from having, oh, I had my nails done yesterday. I have gone very vampy. Uh, matte black for a change just because you know why not it's, it's winter all the dark colors in winter um so yeah I've had that on my um fingers and toes and then I had my eyelashes done and topped up yesterday so feeling very Bambi-esque again which is good and then I was thinking I was going to come back and um put some makeup on come down and film the um reveal for the uh the blah, 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 words are hard film the reveal for the pencil skirted dress that the patreon peeps have seen although they've not seen the finished version and i i'm over the moon with how it's come out i'm so so pleased with how it's come out um but yeah i got back there were, i had to wait an hour in between my appointments and then by the time i got back it was three o'clock and um, still not feeling great, so decided to curl up in bed instead with Chi and kind of just did a little bit of research, like for possibly another Get the Look for Less video, had a look at the new Zimmerman um, offerings, and whilst I would love to do another Zimmerman video, it's they're kind of just repeating their silhouettes. Um, at least for the ones that I like. They do do lots of different and new silhouettes, but they tend to be very kind of trapeze-like, and we all know that I like to accentuate my waist, and I don't want the volume to come from here or from here, because if it does, then it just makes me look this big rather than this big. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been... It was it was a very nice chilled day and it was very nice to get pampered. The guy that does my nails is lovely. He was really fun to talk to, which is good because I was there for like two hours. Um, but yeah, he was really fun to talk to as well. So that was cool. I haven't been able to fit into this dress for a very long time. And I decided to try it on this morning because I wore one of my scuba dresses yesterday and it was baggy around the waist now usually there you, as you guys know the factor for my scuba dresses is what I love about them so putting one on and having it actually be baggy around my waist was just like oh I wonder if I could and um yeah I can get into this one now this is I think the biggest version of the grace dress that I've got this is my grace grace bodice and I mean technically I'm wearing a strappy summer dress in the middle of February so like not the most intelligent thing, but I've got this little uh, cropped cardigan on over it. And I do tend to wear these dresses with cropped cardigans over them most of the spring, summer when I could get into them. So I just thought I'd try it on again and it zipped up and it zipped up easily. Like, I think I might be able to get into some of my other ones. So I might be having a look through my boxes of clothes that I've kept and um, seeing if I can squeeze myself back into some of my other ones, which is awesome. And I have to say, it is literally that killer vanilla stick. I mean, I'm still obviously drinking hot chocolate. I'm not eating hot chocolate anymore. Eating hot chocolate? I'm not eating chocolate anymore. And I really haven't been craving sugar because that killer vanilla thing is amazing. Um, I don't know if any of you got yourselves one after we talked about it last time. But it's, I mean, it's worked for me. Um, I, I hope it's worked for everybody else, but it's worked for me. Uh, Jane's here. Good greetings from Bristol. Hi, Jane. Your the fabric you recommended has arrived and been washed and is folded and it's behind you. I'm gonna get it. I, I'm bring it over in a minute. I've also got some lining fabric that I need to refold and put back into the lining stash as well. Diana says, uh, "Hello, everyone. I'm sewing my first jean shorts. Oh, good luck with those. 
That would be very cool. Caroline says, happy Sunday, Sean and Peeps. Thank you, Caroline. Happy Sunday to you as well. Julie's here. Hi, beautiful Peeps. Hi, Julie. How are you? Mm. This is the last one of my Black Forest Gatto ones, and I won't have any more till next month. But I do have some of the 70% chocolate coming. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing. I've not given up anything that I love. Like, I have... I, mm, I've given up the sweets because I was eating far too many of those. And honestly, whilst they were delicious, they didn't make me feel great, so... This makes me feel really good. Chocolate is, chocolate is divine. Mm. Yum. Right, let me go put this by the door so that I don't forget it on my way up. I am going to grab the fabric that's arrived and then we'll have a chat about mistakes were made again because I didn't think things all the way through. <laughs> I mean, when does that happen? Like, you know. Doesn't sound like me at all, does it? Right. Okay, so beautiful fabrics. I've had to put these in their own little mini prison because we all know glitter craft herpes, it just, it is everywhere, like everywhere. And I am a bit annoyed with myself for not thinking this purchase all the way through because I don't think it's going to be a good idea to use these glitter fabrics in the dresses that I want to make because I'm just going to leave glitter everywhere I go. And that's just not something that I want to do. So they've been put in their own little mini prison to think about what they've done. This one is really, really beautiful. It's got like a red shift into it. Um, it is really pretty. And I do like the, um, the black gold red one as well. I, I just didn't go with the red uh, cotton poplin that I've got, under, uh, cotton sateen that I've got under here. But these, yeah, these are just not the right thing for the dress that I wanna try. Um, so I've been scouring Etsy and I have found a couple of alternatives that I have ordered and that are on their way and I think are going to look awesome. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these glittery fabrics. I'll probably put them up for grabs if anybody wants them because whilst they're beautiful, they are just never going to get used by me for this purpose. And so if somebody makes um, like dance costumes or things for, um, I mean, I don't know, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm annoyed with myself for this one, but never mind, never mind. Let me show you, let me show you the fabrics that I found instead. Uh, let's see. Oh, Carolyn, I just got your um, message on um, the sloper uh, video. Thank you. She says, I'm overwhelmed by all of your sloper making. Thank you for being brave and showing us it can be done. It's... I, I, my brain has melted, but I've genuinely been enjoying it. Oh, and I haven't forgotten to say hi to any new Patreon peeps. I don't, oh God, no, have I? <laughs> Do I have any new Patreon peeps? Patrons. Oh, yes. So uh, I, th I think I said hello to these ones last, last week. But again, Tom, yes, Tom and Pilar Paradello joined the Patreon peeps. So thank you both you of you guys for joining the Patreon peeps. Lots of videos I went up because I, I only put one up last week, so I put three up this week. Um, and um, yeah, <laughs> uh, this week has not gone according to plan, but never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, what was I saying? Fabric, I'm going to show you fabric. When am I never going to, when am I not going to show you fabric? Let's have a look at some fabric. Uh, so I um, found on I mean, Bianca said about the um, places that she's been getting her, like, beautiful finish jersey fabrics from. And I went and had a look, and I fell in love. And I put it up on the Peeps group. It was a velvet with, like, a – I think it's the one she actually used in her latest video. And I just thought that as a society dress would be amazing. And it would be. And it's £27 per metre, so it's not cheap. So I was just like, well, the society dress that I want to do, like the long sleeves, 
uh, no hood shorter skirt version needs two and a half yards so I was like okay I'll buy three yards because I can color block hopefully color block some of the bits and pieces into a different dress possibly and put it in my cart on Etsy and the entire order came to 142 pounds and the tax and the shipping was more expensive than the fabric now I don't mind paying for shipping and I know obviously shipping from America is expensive loads of you guys send me things from America so I know that shipping is expensive but the shipping I think it was 60 pounds for the shipping and I think it was just one of those ones where they hadn't um if you added another yard of whatever fabric in it just charged you the same amount of shipping per yard rather than kind of like going oh well we've increased weight x amount so the shipping will go up so I'm sure if I messaged them and said oh you know um is this is this correct like they probably would be able to adjust it but still and um, so I put it up in the peeps group and then a bunch of you uh, J uh Jojo in fact Jojo's here as well hello Jojo um Jojo was just like ah there is a shop in Birmingham that might have some stuff like this and I was just like ooh, so she's gonna have a look for me which is awesome and Jojo is coming down to visit me next month fingers crossed touch wood touch wood touch wood where's the wood touching lino I don't want to just touch lino there we go there's the wood touch wood and so yeah that would uh, be amazing but I have got an entire couple of pages of my Etsy like wish list just devoted to fabrics from this shop that Bianca's recommended she also recommended a sequin one and I'm just like oh, stop it um but I found somewhere in the UK that sells holographic high shine PU fabric and foil fabric so I have ordered I've ordered a yard uh, a meter of this red one because it's going to be it's got that like holographic shift in it and I think it's going to look really cool with the red dress here and then I've also you ordered a yard of this one I mean look at it it is absolutely beautiful and I'm going to pair that with the green which is going to be a really kind of like uh, Blade Runner space future kind of queen dress. But I, um, you know what, it's like these two pencil skirted dresses, I'm not going to wear them super, super often, I don't think. I am much more a kind of fit and flare girl, as you know. So I was thinking, like, let's, let's really push the boat out. Let's really go over the top with these ones because it's an experiment in like can I do the thing it's an experiment in getting it to fit and I, I think it's going to be really interesting so that's what I'm going to do with those two the glitter fabric like I say it's in its own little, little plastic prison and it can stay there um this one Jane is it's utterly beautiful now this is like I've got five five meters of this because that's my go-to amount for buying fabric because I mean, well, this one, this one was, this one was expensive. I so I spent eighty pounds on this. It was sixteen pounds per meter. Um, and I could have bought three meters and made myself an Eve dress. Um, but what I'm thinking is, I kind of like this bodice, and now that I can fit into this version again, because I've got my other two that I made last year or the year before year before wow the lemon print and the hydrangea one I've got those over there they're too big for me now quite considerably too big and I did think about doing the thing where I was like take the bodice off because they've both got gathered skirts and so take the bodice off make a new make a new bodice I've got enough of the hydrangea to do that but not of the lemons I'd have to buy some more lemons um, and then I just thought well actually no you know what I'm gonna keep those fold them up put them away and because you never know, I might like put weight on again and it would be nice to have clothes to do that like I'm doing with my clothes now that I can get back into the sm smaller clothes again. So I'm going to put those ones away. Um, and I thought what I would do is use this fabric to make one of these dresses with a tiered and gathered skirt, I think, because it will be really like, because this is a quilting cotton one. So this one's got quite a lot of poof in the skirt from, from all the gathers here. Um, but with a tiered and gathered skirt in viscose, we all know that they hang quite quite nicely. And I could wear a petticoat under it if I wanted to floof it up. 
Um, but if I interline the bodice, because this, as I say, is a quilting cotton, so a little bit of structure in the bodice is a good thing. If I interline the bodice with um, either some cotton lawn or possibly a couple of layers of the black viscose that I'll use to line the bodice, I think this dress like that could look amazing. And I think because this bodice takes a very little amount of fabric because it's a very little bodice, I think I might have enough to make like an overshirt kind of thing, which I think would look really, really cool. So yeah, it would be versatile. Um, so that's what I'm thinking for this one. And it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you very much, Jane, for tempting me to buy this fabric because it is fabulous. So yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, Jane says, can't, oh, can't wait to see the fabric. Julie says, I can't find my pattern. Oh, no. Yvonne says, morning, everyone. Hope you're all well. Very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, Gig Racer says, good evening, peeps. Hope you're all well. Very well, thank you. Julie says, I'm on the verge of crying. It's a pattern for my sister's running jacket, and I made about four tw twirls for it and to make it fit perfectly on her and me, and now I have to start over. Nope, you will find that it is there somewhere. It hasn't run away from you. It's just hiding in a safe place. Safe, slave, slave? Safe a space. You will find it. You will. Positive thoughts. Mim's here. She says, hi, Sean. How are you? Had a, uh, and a nice Sunday to everybody. Very well, thank you. How are you? Jojo says, morning all. Hope you're all well. Very well, thank you. Johanna says, morning, everyone. Good morning. Susan says, good morning. Noelia, uh, Noelia says, morning, Sean and Peeps. Hope everyone is okay. Yes, very good. Thank you. Uh, Nimoy says, next Sunday is fabric market and a few stands have fancy shiny stuff. I can have a look for shiny stretch velvet. <gasps> Nimue, that would be amazing. Would it be all right if I sent you my um, Etsy um, kind of page so you can have a look at the ones that I've um, pinned that I'm like really interested in? Um, that would, just to give you a reference, that would, that would be really, really cool. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for fabric shopping for me vicariously. It's wonderful. Uh, Nonny Mouse says, morning. Love the dress you're wearing. Thank you, me too. It's my design. It's the kittenish behavior grace dress and I can get into it again. I haven't been able to get into it for a very long time. So, yeah. Um, Maverick says, morning Shannon Peeps from a sunny Kent. Good morning. Jane says, um, wow, do love the colors in the print. Beautiful. Yeah, me too. It's very soft as well. Um, Una says, hello, Shannon Peeps. Hello. Laura says, good morning, everyone. Good morning. And Jane says, you're worth it. Well, <laughs> your welcome was worth it. <laughs> oh, dear. Jojo says, I am invading knickers to train strikes. I'm sure the hotel are getting comically frustrated by me asking if they're definitely open and have a room available for each night of my stay. <laughs> I mean, from past experience, you need to check these things, Jojo. So, yeah. Lala Palooza says, morning all, good morning. Julie says, I was sure I sent it home with her, but she says, no, you must have it. It'll be there. It'll find it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nimue says, yes, of course. Searching for you might keep me from spending, um, keep my own spending in line. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Chris leaves here, morning all. Joe says, morning, Sean and Peeps. Hope you're all taking care of yourselves. And Julie says, thank you. You will find it, Julie. We, we will. Positive mental attitude. We shall find it. We shall find it. Right, now I need to try and work out where these are going to live. I think they, well, I mean, last last week we organised we organized my um, viscose, which is now looking beautiful, but there is absolutely no room for this black viscose to go in there. So it would make sense for this one to go into the rose collection, which is here. And this technically is in the citrus collection, which should be up there. I don't know if that's going to fit up there. It might. Um, but let's put this in the roses. Hmm. Put this in the citrus. Oh, throw my rulers in the bin. That's not what we want. Oh, that does fit. That's good. It's a tight fit, but it fits. Uh, so, um, yes, yeah, so thank you very much for bearing with me this week. Whilst I didn't have a video up for you guys yesterday or Friday, I did feel really bad, but it got to the point where it's like, I don't want to half ass the filming of this video because I'm so pleased with the outcome and like 
but you know I want I want to I don't I don't want to kind of just like not come on camera and not feel not feeling great and just be like yay look um so yeah that's why I decided to not try and force myself to make the video yesterday I'm going to probably do it tomorrow Okay, so because this is this is my projects for this year, <laughs> which doesn't seem to be going down at all. Um, I mean, I do keep adding to it, don't I? I've also really need to just get on and work my way through the um, words are hard. Work my way through the projects that I've cut out as well because uh, they're running out of month. It's the 19th today, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's the 19th today. Uh, right. <laughs> Got some more viscose twill. I bought a lot of this because, I mean, I, I basically line everything with this. I was thinking, it's, it's actually an ivory colour. I was thinking about making a dress from it with embroidery on it. I think I told you guys about this one. I kind of want like um, possibly the McCall 7974 shirt dress. And then I've got some um, pretty floral motifs to go over the top that I want to, um, they're like appliques. Uh, I'll get them out in a second. but I would have to completely line the dress because otherwise it would be see-through, which um, is not what we want. Right, folded, that's perfect. Put that away. Let's see if I can reach over and get into my um, box of trims because that's always fun to do. Like, I can get into it, it's just, can I get it out because my mannequin's kind of like in the way. Can I, can I do this? Can we do this? It's one, although that's the boring one. This is the one we want. Okay, yes, got the trims. So I think I've shown you guys this before. There's a dress company called Hope and Ivy that I love. And they do like beautiful kind of very knee shaped dresses. And um, yeah, very knee shaped dresses, uh, but they um, with plain fabrics, but they put the interest in with embroidery. Uh, I'm sure I've shown you guys this before. Uh, here. Yep, Hope and Ivy. Let's see. Your season. Ooh. Ooh, they're pretty. I'm trying to find like the uh, one that is kind. Ah, here we go. I mean, actually, this yellow one's really pretty. Let's see. Pictures. There we go. Yep. So they do like, like I say, very sort of like knee shaped dresses kind of fitted in the bodice, tight at the waist or fitted towards the waist and then a slightly flared skirt, but they put embroidery on it. And I mean, obviously I've got an embroidery machine and I've, I've actually bought like a bunch of different motifs to kind of channel um, like a trashy diva dress that's very similar to that, that has like embroidery motifs here. And um. Yeah, I, I, whilst I want to do that, um, my, <laughs> I have to, I have to use a P, uh, like a, a, a Windows PC to do, to do that. And, um, that's not the best. Oh, this is my stuff for my, um, dirndl. I knew I'd put it somewhere safe, but that was actually not where I thought I'd put it. So that's good to find out. Oh, my beautiful crystals. Hello, crystals. Um, but yeah, so um, for the dress, the Hope and Ivy dress, I have bought 
quite a lot by the set looks of things. Yeah, so I've got these. So I'm thinking kind of like trailing up and then also kind of trailing down. But I only got two of the floral ones. This seems unlikely. Um, so yeah, two I've got two of these, and then I have a lot. <laughs> and this is gonna surprise none of you. I've got a lot of just the leaves. And they kind of go together quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, this is very Tuota Tuota Matoshi. I can never say her name correctly. I thought I'd want more, more of the floral ones. But, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking with, because that was another reason I bought quite so much of that viscose twill from the fabric room. It's an amazing lining. Just looks of shiny. Uh, yeah, sorry, distracted. Amazing lining, but it's also um, something that I actually want to use for a dress as well. Mm, so many pretties. So many pretties. Now, do I put do I put my dundle things back in here, or do I? Ah, no, I'm going to put them over here in my little clear Muji. Um, chest of drawers because that way I can see them because I did think these were somewhere else so yes Rachel Lynn's here good morning good morning Debbie says good morning all made the mistake of watching the Al Alexander McQueen spring summer collection and want to copy all the things I know I know um sewing seams with Deb says good evening everyone it's getting into nighttime here in Perth Western Australia good evening Julie says this is sort of why I'm not filming anything I don't have the energy yeah you need to like you need to look after yourself number one and like work out what is going to be physically possible for you or not and like use your energy accordingly and if you're not in the mental space to be filming then don't film because it's not worth it. These are so pretty. Oh, let's see. So yeah, these are the little dandel pieces. She, like I say, she sent me the ribbon. She sent me the pattern. She sent me the fabric. It's gonna. Oh, it's gone. I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah. So um, I need to I need to get on and get like some stuff sewn up this month as well though don't I for these other things because I've cut out the pajamas the dress and the other dress so I need to get those sewn hemispheric muslin the cape muslin came out really well I really like it so I'm hoping that I have actually got enough fabric like I thought I think I have to do the cape out of the navy wool as well because I think that's going to look really cute um Right, Carolyn says to Debbie, where could one happen to watch? Uh, Google? Uh, yeah, uh, YouTube. I, I think they put them up on YouTube. I know Bianca put a, did a very quick video of um, linking to all the fashion shows that she's been watching, like the Thierry Mugler ones and things like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, Luminaria um, says, appliques. Thank you. Words. <laughs> the stickers of the fabric world. I love that. I love that. Jojo says to in a way, Sean spending, definitely, but not mine, as if I can enter the Birmingham fab di fabric district and not make my bank account face palm and cry out of frustration. <laughs> uh, Carolyn says the mannequin isn't isn't in the way, it's guarding it. Yes. Yes, it's guarding the shinies. Yes. It's like me. I I I, I think I've shown you guys the Dragon Horde art before. I love them. Um, the they have like one for knitting, they have one for quilts, they don't have one for fabric, and they don't have one for sewing. They do have one for kittens, which I love. They've got some not safe for work ones as well. Um, but yeah, the artist is like these dragon hordes, and I I mean I am a fabric dragon like completely. This is this is my horde, and I am happy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Maggie says, hi everyone, hope you are all good. This morning I've been cutting a dress in black with birds and leaves and flowers. Now sitting down with a nice cupcake, listening to the waffle, perfect Sunday. Oh, lovely, that is lovely. 
That is lovely. Elena says, hello, lovely shiny peeps. Hello. Nimue says to Jojo, don't know, don't I know it? I told my friend I could ask her, told my friend I could ask her to keep me in line and she just snorted. We're total enablers until um, United over here, but it's much, much more fun this way. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there are worse things that you could be addicted to and if you have the space, then why not? Uh, I mean, I don't really, I do have space. Look, my rose collection's got space. So, yeah. Uh, Dave Rave says, happy Sunday, pretty dress. Thank you. I haven't been able to get into this for years, so I'm really excited that I can fit into it again. Um, Artie Tristan's here, says, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Dave Rave says, Debbie and Deb in here today. Uh, Jojo says to Nimue, haha, I know that feeling. I once made the mistake of non-sewing friend in the hope that they'd rein me in. They did. I was most disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to make a shopping list for the Goldhawk Road meetup. I know I want velvet for my society dress. And I think I want to have a look for some silk. Yeah, so I'm thinking, because I was saying that I'm going to take these Dior silks to Lady McElroy to have a look at their silk satin for a underskirt for them. Um, but I also kind of think that it might be a good idea to take it to the Gold Hawk Road with me and see if I can find something there uh, because it might be slightly less expensive than the Lady McElroy one because that is like £33 per metre. So, yeah, and plus I'm not going to be able to go there until after the Festival of Quilts, which is not for a while, so... Mm. Uh, David Rose says good morning to Tristan and everyone. Heather says, good morning. I did a thing and signed up for the sewing retreat with Gertie. I hesitated first because I thought it was pricey, but went for it. I'm super excited. <gasps> Heather, that's so exciting. Yay. I mean, I have to say, like, when you when you think about what's included in those kind of retreats, like, whilst it might seem expensive, the kind of, like, access to knowledge that you're getting, and then just all the other people and the experience as well, definitely worth it. So. If um if anyone wants to come to my retreat, there's one space left. One space left. And if you don't take it, I will. <laughs> I'll stay in the hotel. <laughs> um Carolyn says, Thank you, Sean. I was afraid it was only through BBC, which I can't access. Uh no, I think I think you can find them online. Julie says, I do have space. There is about two centimeters right there. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's there's like a there's a smidgen in there and there's a smidgen in there and then like I mean there's a lot of space in there. Like yeah. So lots lots of space. And as soon as I've worked out my trouser block, then this one's gonna get sewn up really quickly. Really, really quickly. So yeah. Although Although I had so the you know I I I, I did uh, let me put this away before I forget and then let's okay so they're they're somewhere safe which I can see so I, I haven't lost them um so right um next month's project is going to be corsets and. Ariana um, Black Corsetry website, at least the last time I looked, has closed down. And I don't know if that's just because she's got a lot of people using it at the moment. So she's like limiting access or if there isn't like, a membership to pay for. I need to research more. But it's closed down at the moment. So I've been looking online and on Etsy for corset patterns. And I've come across a company um, that does an amazing, like a heart front corset and a petal front corset, which would be amazing for my butterfly dress um let's see the trouble with with my etsy at the moment is that it's just pages and pages and um pages of uh trim for the fringe dress that i want to try and then all of the sequins and shiny shiny fabric oh, I, don't know. I mean look oh that would make an amazing dress hello Hello, but it is so expensive to have it sent to the UK. 
which makes me cry. I did have a look and see how much it would be to have sent to a friend of mine in America and then have it sent over. And I think, I don't think it would end up being like the 60 pounds that they're kind of charged me, but I still think it would be really expensive. So I just need to be able to go to this fabric shop in person. Jojo and I are now, I didn't win the lottery, I checked, but I bought t- tickets for next week. So, you know, like fingers crossed for that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're planning a fabric buying trip to um, California because this isn't, this fabric shop's in LA. Um, and uh, then I would probably end up having to have it all shipped back anyway because I'd be buying so many yards of this fabric. Um, anyway, corsets, corsets, uh, corsets, corsets, corsets. Corsets. Right. So um, Corsets by Caroline is the name of the shop. And she does some amazing corsets. Like I said, there's a there's a heart shaped one, which I mean, like, look at that. And it also comes with like a petal bust, the one at the top there, which I just think for my peacock gown would be amazing. Um, but I discovered that she actually does a made to measure corset pattern. So you send, you take a bunch of measurements and you send her your measurements and she will make you a corset pattern that's technically going to fit you perfectly out of the pattern, out of the packet kind of thing. It's 72 pounds. So it is expensive, but the other corset patterns are around 26 pounds. And hear me out. Like I've talked to my best friend about this and we were chatting away and it was like, well, so I could buy one of her generic patterns, make a mock-up, try it on, do the fitting. I don't know this this fitting very well. Like I say, the Ariana, Ariane, Arania black corset website with all the resources I was going to use is closed at the moment. I don't know if it's open again now, like I say, but it's closed at the moment. So I was just like, you know, that this, this amazing resource of fitting has gone. Now she does also have ebooks that you can buy. And I've got a couple of those pinned for best practice for fitting and for making corsets and things like that. Um, So, you know, I can invest probably the same sort of 72 pounds ish in a, a process of getting this to fit me. But my thinking is like 72 pounds is expensive, but but this is then a perfectly fitting corset for me. So it will save in, I mean, the other thing with corsets is I can't make it up in calico. I need to make it up in something similar to the final fabric that I'm going to make it up in, which would be a coutille, um, at least for the inner layer and then fashion fabric over the top, probably knowing me. And I'm thinking that coutille is expensive. Like I wouldn't make my first test piece in, in, in an expensive coutille, but you need it needs to be a similar weight to the final fabric that you're going to make your corset from. <coughs> and then obviously the lacing strips. And, you know, I just think that investing in this pattern that is probably going to need like minor, minor tweaks. And that also, she says, can be adapted to most of the necklines that she does. So like the underbus corset, the overbus corset, the U-shaped front. The only one it can't be adapted to is the heart-shaped corset and the petal bus corset. But that makes perfect sense. Um, but it just kind of, it kind of made sense to me to spend the money on having something that's drafted specifically for me. And again, we all know I've just started my like, like drafting ex- experience, like, my drafting uh, journey uh, I you know I have drafted one thing uh, and of course it's obviously a completely different thing and I know there's loads of resources out there but it just seems to make sense to me to start with something that's going to be a really good fit for me especially because of like my long torso the hip spring the um, difference between waist and hips and things like that and I just think it's going to save me time, which is another thing that is obviously costs money, especially when you're self-employed. So I think I am going to um, buy that pattern for my corset corset journey. I think I think that's a sensible use of money. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be the way forward. Um, and it, I will take you guys along with me and we'll see if my theory on this is correct or if I'm just, yeah, if I still have to put so much work into getting this thing to fit me. I mean, I think it's quite, that's kind of not the point. And there's obviously a lot of support that comes from the person that's doing the thing as well. So, um, 
yeah, that's where I'm thinking about that. And then also I have kind of been thinking about how a comfortable corset can be a comfortable thing to wear. And I have been desperately trying to buy bras recently and failing miserably. And I have two Wonder Bras that I love and I'm wearing one of them today, but they don't, I've checked and Wonder Bra don't do this bra anymore. And the two that I have are the I've got I've gotten down to the point where I'm hooking them on their tightest hooks because the back strap is is loosening over time. Now I do want to learn to make my own underwear and things like that, but I'm just thinking maybe maybe like a switching like how I dress might not be the worst thing in the world. And then being able to get into like these dresses again and I don't know, I'm just I'm like, and then it's like, well, I'd need to draft a whole new sloper with a kind of like cinched waist. And then I'm kind of like, would that be kind of fun? And then that means that the track. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I think the corset thing, I think the corset thing is a good idea. And having a quick glance at the chat, I think most of you guys are saying that as well. Let's catch up with the chat because I have just been waffling at you a lot, haven't I? Uh, Gig Racer says, limited myself with fabric purchases this month. I had a very large vet bill this month and also had to replace one of our air conditioners, which is the temerity to die in the middle of the heat, of the heat wave. How dare it? How dare it? Um, Una says, anyone else going to the Sewing for Pleasure show in Birmingham? I hadn't planned on it, but there's a dressmaker's ball at catwalk. Ooh. I wish I lived closer or had won the lottery because then I'd go to all these events. It would be, yeah. I'd get no sewing done. I'd just be going around the world, like going to events and buying fabric and there'd be no sewing done whatsoever. Dave and Rave says, says, Carolyn, I assume you're not in the UK. It's a pain some, sometimes not being able to access different broadcasts. And Carolyn says, yes, you are right. I'm in America. Nimoy says, I can still see my couch under the fabric. That means I have space, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Um, Big Racer says, I wish I could join your retreat, but just too far away, sadly. Yeah, that would be a long a long way to come for five days. <laughs> uh, David Rave says, Sean, many, many congratulations on being able to fit into the dress. How does it feel? So good. So good. So good. And it's making me want to go and get all my old, old dresses out and try them on again. I, I'm kind of a bit wary about that because, like I say, this is one of the, I think this, not that this is made for me exactly the same pattern as the other ones, but I don't know. Maybe like this fabric had a bit of stretch in it or something. It doesn't, it's like I say, it's a quilting cotton. So not really. Um, but this one, um, I always knew was one of the ones I could get away with, but I was a little bit more padded, um, shall we say. So uh, the fact that I can get back, but then there's room. This one is not, you know, it's not straining it. It's not straining at the, the zip like it was the last time I tried it on. There's a good... It's a good like inch and a half of room around the waist. So um, I'm kind of wanting to go and get all my other dresses out and try them on. Uh, Nimway says, I'm also currently sewing up a table runner for my UFO pile. So feeling very virtuous. Nice. Uh, Carolyn says, there's always room for more fabric. Who needs pots and pans? Yeah. I mean, that's what kitchens are for, is storage, right? <laughs> Julie says, foundations revealed. Yeah, you have to pay to join that. Uh, yeah, you have to pay to join that. Um, and I don't, mm, I want more modern corsetry than they offer, but you're not, it's a good resource, definitely. Um, but yeah, I'd rather spend the money on the pattern, I think. Lala Palooza says, ooh, question. Do you know what, what weight of denim you used for your jacket, skirt? I'm debating between eight ounce and 10 ounce for a shirt dress. <laughs> I have no idea. As I say, it was a present from Claire. Um, it was quite a weighty one, but it had a lot of stretch in it. That skirt, I think I, 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 I tried the skirt on the other day. I'm gonna have to move the buttons. I'm sorry to keep banging on about it, but it's really exciting. My skirt, <laughs> it does not fit anymore. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that was sad. Um, uh, it was quite a chunky denim. I would say, personally, for a shirt dress, 
I would err uh, on the side of lighter weight um, to the point of possibly even chambray, but that's because of the type of flare and float that I like from my dresses. If you want a more structured shirt dress, then obviously like heavier weight denims will work really well for that. But that, that's just my two pennies worth. Um, oh, it she does, sorry. Good Grace says Luna Rose costuming, costuming. Not sure if she does corset patterns, but she's incredibly talented and makes amazing corseted creations. Uh, Luminaria, oh, thank you for the, thank you, sorry, like <laughs> reading it out and not saying thank you for the information. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Luminaria says, I remembered to like the video. Yay, there's 111 of us and 37 likes. Just, just saying, it really does make a difference. Uh, Gig Racer says, I think when you're already naturally very hourglass shaped, finding corset patterns that fit can be tricky. Having one made to measure saves lots of headaches when you've not made one before. That's what I'm thinking. I was looking on um, what Katie did last night and I was I found it really interesting because they have their regular corset patterns and then they have their that, like their extreme corset patterns. And it was like, watching the video about why they do the difference between the two is really interesting because um it was like well you, you know um if you if you've been waist training for a while or if you are slightly squishier in places um then you don't necessarily and you've used a corset and you've gotten it to the point where it's as it, it you closed it to the two inch gap at the back and it's as tight as it's going to go you don't necessarily want to go down an entire corset size even if you want to make your waist smaller so what they've done is they've kept the kind of like the bust and the hips the same but they've taken another two inches out of the waist for their extreme ones um which so if it was a 28 inch waist it would actually be for a 26 but then the top and the bottom stay the same so that they don't dig in and give you like muffin top because they're too small because this bit you know your hips and your bust haven't changed but it's your waist that you want to squish squish more so I thought that was really really interesting um because I was looking at maybe possibly buying a corset um but it's on my list of things that scare me to try and make and I just thought you know what let's Let's try one first. If it goes horribly wrong, then I have the option of buying something from somewhere like what Katie did. And um, they are £185, so they're not cheap, but also they're not like the generic kind of like, here's a corset um, that, you know, like are mass produced and don't have the hip spring and things in them. These ones do. So yeah, it, it, that's, that's what I spent most of yesterday doing is looking at that kind of stuff. Um, la 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 la. Chat. Jojo says the made to measure pattern makes perfect sense. Um, Luminaria says yes. Lala Palooza says technically is it business expense? Yeah, lol. Yes, no, exactly. It is 100%. Um, uh, Carolyn says right tools for the right job, right? Yeah. Rotten Ralph says I love my corset. Good morning, peeps. Good morning. Uh, Una says I'll be traveling to Birmingham from Lancashire if anyone is near there or Manchester. Yeah, you're not going to swing by the Isle of Wight and pick me up, Una. <laughs> Longest trip ever. Uh, Luminaria says, a corset should feel like a hug. Um, I used to sell custom corsets. When What I recommend was to put a corset on, loosely tie it, wear it for about 15 to 20 minutes because your body will adjust. Yeah, so you put it on, you kind of like loosely fit it, wear it for a bit, then tighten it, and then tighten it a little bit more to the point where you, you get to where you want to. And then obviously with um, sort of like new corsets, you need to season them as well, don't you? Know, like wear them so that they can form a mold to your body to then be able to comfortably wear them tighter and tighter. So, yeah. And I genuinely, like my, my bunny uniform, which didn't have, I mean, it, it had some waist reduction in there, but it did up with a zip. It wasn't laced. So we, I remember, um, going into work and we're all having to zip each other up but you would you you'd put your hands on your waist and you'd push the corset towards the back so that there would be room in there for them to zip you up um, but that had no like proper kind of cinching waist reduction in because zip up and zip up and down we no, no bunny no bunny outfit um is corseted at the back like laced at the back um so yeah, uh, I, I found that very comfortable to wear when when the underwires behaved themselves and didn't lose their caps and dig into my boobs. But uh, yeah, that was <laughs> I found I you know like I found it quite a comfortable thing to wear and it gave me the push up look that I like. So I'm just thinking like maybe not every day, but like that could be quite fun. So and all of the kind of vintage pin up 
dresses that I want to make this year are gonna need a corset to support the weight of the skirts and stuff underneath of them so yeah yeah um Rachel then says makes sense to perfect uh to purchase the perfect pattern for a corset time is money exactly that's what I think I was talking to like I said I was talking to Tati about it and I was just like I think it's a good idea because I think it would save me time um and I, I I yeah I mean we could watch me go through many 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 iterations of trying to perfect this corset and I, I say also I'm not an expert so um it would be a learning curve but having one that's technically meant to fit me out of the packet I think is just a sensible thing to do so I'm going to buy that this afternoon because it does she does say it could take her up to 28 days to get this corset pattern drafted and made for you uh, Luminaria says then adjust it so it feels like a hug and tie again that isn't tight lacing but it is the correct fit yeah 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 Judy says I give up on trying to find the pattern texting my sis again and if nothing and if it yields nothing I'm going to try starting over using the blogs I made you can do it Julie we'll find it, it will be it'll turn up and if it doesn't you can totally do it you've done it once you can do it again totally I know it's a lot of hard work that you've put in there but many hugs many hugs uh Nimoy says just discovered I sewed my binding strips not all this not all the same way not all the same way sigh off to lunch and, tr and second try after that okay oh I've got a yawn I'm sorry Ooh. Ooh. I'm awake um mum's home and she's got her new jumper on which means she's going to start knitting my new cardigan um but I don't know if she's coming down here or not she did look like she might have been, but nope. I where do we get chat? Dave on a rave says, there's wiggle room, go for it. Uh have a try on. Need to do need to do the same ahead of a like the wardrobe um haul or cull. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go through my wardrobe as well. There's there's some stuff in there that I I theoretically love, but like having put it on and worn it it's like mm, I don't think this is actually for me um I need to make these I need to make this style in a better fabric for me so yeah. yeah 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 um Debbie says I follow Caroline on her Patreon you can get a pattern every couple of months she's lovely and the time and skill it takes for a custom-made pattern the price is excellent yeah I mean 72 pounds I'm not remotely phased by that I think it's a very 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 good price and uh good yeah thank you for reminding me she had a Patreon because she does say that so yeah I'll have to check that out as well thank you Michelle says good morning lovely peeps missed last week glad to be back what's going on this week lots of waffle again <laughs> Are you surprised? No, you are not. Uh, Diana says, my banana is acting up. Grr, it won't zigzag on my stretch denim. I cleaned, oiled, rethreaded, put in a new jeans needle. What am I doing wrong? Is it one of the ones... Is it one of the ones where you have to tell it what you've got? Have you got, like, the right um, sole plate on? Do you... Because I can... look If it doesn't have the wide little... Um, I mean, this. This thing. Like... Does it have the wide one on it? Because if it doesn't, it won't zigzag because they do smaller ones for like embroidery and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, have you told it that you've got the right foot on? Because sometimes that will be why. Although usually if you try and sew, it will be like meh, meh, foot, wrong foot. Um, but it won't always meh, meh, wrong, sole, uh, wrong plate, um, stitching plate. Um, but I, other than that, I can't, I don't know. Uh, Angel Rose says, I like your dark hair so much better than the red. It makes you look so much younger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I was red red for 10 years. I enjoyed the red. I enjoyed the blonde as well. If the blonde wasn't so expensive, I might do blonde. But I do like the black. I mean, technically, technically, blue. Um, Yeah. I like, I like it. I like it. Still, I'm I'm just I'm trying to decide whether I go and have it cut back up to here. Have it cut back there again. And I'm trying to also decide if like I if I have like a proper fringe put in. Or 
if I grow it out because I can get it to here and have it still look thick and healthy. It's when I try growing it past here that it doesn't, it starts to get straggly at the ends. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do we think? Um, Gaina says, well, Isle of Wight would think, uh, well, Isle of Wight, I think would stop me doing this there and back in one day, Sean. Uh, reminder to like the live peeps. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I think it might be a little bit extreme. Um, yes, there's 115 of us and 59 likes now. Uh, Gig Racer says, even when sewing as a plus size, I generally still have to go down four sizes for my waist. Sounds like extreme corset patterns would be better for me too. We'll check out what Katie's, um, what Katie sewed. Thank you. It's actually what Katie did is the, is the name of the um, store. Um, but it's not it's it's a it's a shop it's it, they sell they sell lingerie and clothes they don't sell patterns uh julie says thank you hun yes many hugs for you alice's here hello shannon peeps greetings from a warm bendigo where have um where we have had some hot days shan how is chiana today she's very well i didn't take this picture today but i did take this picture the other day um because she has rediscovered the fact that she can get under the under the um quilt and so she has been under the quilt making nests and then all you can see is the two feet like two ladylike feet crossed out out of top out of her nest so yeah julie says um don't fringe please and that length on you is very natural and cute thank you yeah i, I do i like this I kind of like this and it is almost getting to the point where I can put it up again. I'm thinking, do I grow it just to, just down to here? But I do, I, I miss putting my hair up. I do miss putting my hair up. Um, still not sure about the fringe. And I'm thinking maybe I ought to have some layers put in it and then try curling it because that could be quite fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Michelle says, question, I want to use the zigzag stitch to finish edges like a Sergio effect. Any videos that illustrate it? Because I'm struggling with getting it uh, getting it right. It looks uh, rat nesty. Any suggestions? Um, there are uh, a few videos out there. I know Bianca has one on finishing techniques. So does Morgan Donna. Um, if you Google on if you on YouTube, if you search for finishing techniques other than a serger, um, I, I think there's quite a few people out there that will come up with, and so some and they all all show you zigzag stitching. Um, so yeah, Elena says cut and yes to the fringe. Christine says I like the shorter length. You can always grow out a fringe. This is true. Lala Palooza, Lala Palooza says layers are curly wavy hair's best friend. Yeah, I mean at the moment it is literally all one length. Um, yeah, but I can't. I don't know. 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 Like fringe. Do I do fringe? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, Carolyn says, I love the Benina sewing machine imita um, imitation. I know exactly what you were doing. Did I do that? <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, did I, did I do the thing? <laughs> yeah. Um, what shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? Hmm. I I really kind of want to try and start sewing the hemispheric coat muslin, but I'm also very aware that I have had very little sleep over the last two days, and unfortunately, not for like super exciting reasons. Um, yeah, like you know time of the month kind of reasons. So um, I'm thinking if I try and sew something that I am supposed to be concentrating and learning how to do, it probably won't go overly well. So I'm like, maybe, maybe, maybe we don't do that. Maybe we just chill. 
<laughs> oh, you guys never seem to mind me waffling at you. Maybe we refresh myself about exactly what trims I've got in here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, Debbie says, Evelyn Wood has a superb video on her channel about finishing seams without a, a surgery. Yes, thank you. I knew Evelyn had one. I'm pretty sure Bianca has one. Vintage on tap. There are a few out there, I think. Um, Julie says, I need to go sew a 12 foot uh, sew a 12 for a robe for my big brother that I used all day yesterday making the pattern. Twile, twile. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Lala Palusa says, Michelle, try the stitch that is intended for blind stitch. It looks like a couple of straight stitches, um, like a zigzag, and tames it tames the edges. Ah, good knowledge. Cecilia says, the fringe would look very French girl with your dark hair, chic, with, uh, chic when straight and cute when curly. Uh, Elena says, maybe you need a good nap. I do need a good nap. I do. Yeah. And I think I might actually be able to sleep tonight because I'm not in pain at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pain Sonia is not fun, as many of you are fully aware. So, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Julie says, I don't know how to spell... Uh, the garment type thing it's t-o-i-l-e twile so you're close i know i know what you mean julie like and again the fact that english isn't your first language and you speak it so well and write it so well is i'm just in awe absolutely in awe completely so yeah 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 um yeah exactly julie says second it's a second language C completely i think yeah <laughs> we've all we've all experienced my attempts at speaking danish and it's not good so yeah oh i'm gonna yawn again mm. oh excuse me um yeah 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 so 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 what should we do what should we do I've got so many projects to do, haven't I? I've got to try and do those Rita blouses as well. And it's the 19th, which means we've got like nine days left of February. <laughs> Nothing like being overly ambitious. Uh, we, all knew, we all knew my plans for February were massively overly ambitious though, didn't we? When I started talking about them in my February um, plans video. So, yeah um what might so march is going to be corsets march is going to be corsets um <laughs> sorry elena's sending me pictures um <laughs> She's sending me memes. It is funny. Yeah, I am. Um, what else can I do in? What else can I do in March? Because the corsets are going to be, as I say, support support structures for the for the dresses, um, and then even possibly maybe a layer of the butterfly dress. So, what kind of what what dress should I try and make in? in March because it kind of makes sense that I ought to try one of the dirty dresses doesn't it because that's what I want to make the corset for is structure for under that dress let's have a look Let's have a look. Oh, I also need to, we could need to start writing a list for the fabric I need to find when I go to the Goldhawk Road. Although I have found that this, this, the stretch selection is not the best, but the Hepburn top. Um, so, Stable knits with 10 to 25 percent stretch, Ponty interlock double knits, wool and wool blends, cotton and cotton blends, cashmere, round poly lip blends are all suitable. All right, 
Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to use fabric for the headband top. And then we've got, so we've got the Liz dress, the night and day dress, and then obviously the Lana dress as well. So um, the Liz dress is going to be the African wax print. Is there. The night and day dress is going to be the Dolce & Gabbana roses and then the Lana dress is going to be the Dolce & Gabbana patchwork fabric. Mm, do you know what? I'm going to put that up on Patreon for a vote. That is it. I need to make myself a note to actually do that. So let's make that note now. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's going to be the vote for next month. Patreon peeps will have to help me decide. Um. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Patreon vote. So it would be the Goethe dresses. Now, obviously, I'm not going to attempt to make all three of those in because I'm not completely crazy. Um, but it would be interesting to see what the Patreon... Oh, I took, I took some stuff up for sewing the other day to finish off my... Um, to finish off my uh, pencil skirted dress. Let's take these out while I remember them. Sorry, my little brain's all over the place today, isn't it? Anyone else getting whipped dash? Um, yeah, yeah, that kind of... That makes sense, doesn't it? Like doing one of the Gertie dresses during corset month as well. Because that's two birds with one stone. Because the Afri if it was the African wax print, that's definitely one that scares me. Otherwise, it's the kind of like the Gertie patterns technically that scare me by themselves. But yeah, and then they're also ticking stuff off of my um, Make Nine as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, Noelia says, why don't you stroke some fabric and maybe talk about possible makes with it? I mean, I need very little encouragement for that. Very little encouragement for that. <laughs> like, <laughs> which, which ones should I get out today? <laughs> Sorry, my little mind's just gone. Fabulous. Um, Christine says, I sense fan proof on link coming on. You guys know me too well. Um, Julie says, we learn English in school from about seven years old and German from about 10 or 11, which again, like just amazing. Nonny Mouse says, Sorry if I missed it. Are you doing your trouser sloper this month or waiting until trouser month? Ah, now, if it was up to me, I would wait till trouser month, but mum does not want to wait until trouser month. Um, so yeah, mum really wants to. Um, mum really wants to do her trouser sloper like ASAP immediately. And having watched the class, having watched the class is actually not that hard. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it looks. Uh, but that's, you know, watching her draft from a mannequin's measurements to then fit the mannequin when she's an expert and has been doing this for, you know, a good 30 years. So um, what I think I'm going to do is because we still we've got to the point with mum where we've made her moulage. We need to we've marked the changes that we need to make on it. So we need to change the pattern, the drafted pattern and uh, then change that into a sloper. Then her have a make her then make have her make her sloper up um, and then put it onto card for her. Um, so 
we've still got a lot of work to do on mum. She's in the, in the interim, she's made herself her, an Harith bag and a wallet to go with it. Um, but like it got to the point where it was just like I she wasn't she had other commitments and couldn't do as long down here as I was doing so it got to the point where it's just like I need to carry on and and get this done because I've got videos to put up which I've still missed a video this week I'm thinking I'm, like I said I'm going to film that tomorrow and then try and get that out early in the week and then there'll be another video on the Friday as well I've got Nicola coming around on the 23rd for a styling session so I need to try and pick some bits out to style up with her as well um So if I had it my way, then yeah, I would do like April as trials a month and I'd start by making my sloper and then try and work my way through this selection here to kind of just, you know, power through and make myself a whole bunch of different types of trousers. But I know mum doesn't want to wait till April. And I really do need to do corsets next month because I have my... Um, retreat in early May and I want one of these dresses to wear for it um so yeah I need to I need corsets just I need to do corsets next month to do dresses next month to so that I have an evening gown to wear well it, like a not necessarily an evening gown because the evening gown I'm going to make this year is the butterfly dress but um yeah that's 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 um that's what I'm that's what I would like to do uh, Nonny Mouse, you're, yeah, but I, I know mum doesn't want to wait that long. But if we get mum's sloper drafted and drawn up, then um, she can, there's, there's craftsy classes that she's bought that are like designing your own trousers and things, and so she can go from there. So it, it doesn't necessarily have to be like, I she has to wait for trouser month for, for her to like go through trousers with me but yeah I if, if it was up to me I would I would do this in April I'd be doing this one in April uh Julie says why not go through some patterns yeah I might go I don't I like the idea of that but I also kind of I don't want to get too kind of distracted by certain patterns because it's just like I want to do all the things I think what what I'm going to do is go through this trim box again just to refresh my memory on what's in there because it's been a while since I've looked um Elena says could you try that green one with the interesting pleats on the skirt front Th this one this one is this all you meant But yes, I'm, 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 yeah, I want, I want to make those. Um, Conchetta says, good morning. I hope everyone is well. Very well, thank you. Luminaria says, I am, I'm heading out. I need to, I need some sleep for the day. It's 6.30 and have been up all night. I have a, um, lol, have a lovely rest of your day, everyone. Ciao. Thank you for joining us. Um, and Julie says, bye to Luminaria. Uh, Alison says, Sean, have you got your stash? Have you got in your stash any fabrics from the um, from Fabric Godmother? I haven't got any of their exclusive designs. No, there was one that I saw that I really wanted. It was a white base with pink roses all over it. But thinking about it, I'm really glad that I didn't buy it because it probably wouldn't have been great for me coloring wise because it was a stark white. Um, yeah uh, but no i don't have any of their specific designs i do like them though um darshna um i'm sorry if i'm saying your name incorrectly um says i vote for sorting your trims uh julie says my german is terrible but it's probably better than mine um it says me more i can do it can attest Cecilia says, ADHD has struck again. What sloper pattern method have you been using? Um, my ADHD has struck me. Uh, it's the Craft C class, Su Susie Ferrer class. I'm very much enjoying it. Uh, Noelia says, maybe you could go through one of your lovely cubby holes of your jersey or any fabric. I actually don't really have very much jersey left. I've got, I've got that. There is no pattern in there whatsoever. There's well, I mean, there's one piece with pattern on it, 
everything in there is plain and solid now. And I'm trying to stick to that I'm not going to buy buying any more um, jersey because I have, I still have lots of the planes to make t-shirts out of, but I have so many patterned t-shirts now. I do not need any more. And I have so many scuba dresses and whilst fabric styles bring out beautiful prints all the time I don't need any more of those either I have so many and yeah I'm trying to I'm trying to not buy any more jersey at the moment <laughs> French terry is usually my downfall especially when Alex comes out and is like look what I got from Poland and it's like oh, I want my so yeah yeah um Laura says good morning I'm watching two live streams right now anyone been watching P4A I don't know what that is uh Julie says ooh trims with all the pretty sparkles yes Lynn says hello all just dropping in while I'm having my lunch hi Lynn how are you and Julie says hi to Lynn Elena says no it was the pencil skirted not totally sure if you're going to make nine or was honorary. Oh, the Namor. The Namor. This one. Yeah, that is a beautiful dress. And again, with a supportive corset underneath, I would totally wear this because it is a strapless dress. It's not on my make nine though. But I'm gonna put it over here <laughs> with the other Gertie dresses because I would like to try that one this year. You are not wrong. Let's put it out. You are not wrong. Uh, let's do the trims. Let's do the trims because they're there. I used to buy so many dresses from um, Celeb Boutique in House of CB. Um, they're bandage dresses. Really, really used to like those ones. Yeah, this one's the boring one. It's got lots and lots of the same trim in there, so we don't need to look at that one. Uh, but this one, this one has all the shamies in it. So many shinies. Um, Alison says a fabric godmother print that you would love is Richmond. It has leaves. Excuse me a second. Just, just, just one second. I, I, I've been told to look at fabric. So, you know, should do as I'm told, right? Richmond. Hello. Richmond cotton lawn green. Sounds good already. <gasps> Ooh. Go it. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It's really pretty. Oh, dear. Oh, it's on sale. Why? Oh, it's on sale. <laughs> I'm you're not you're not watching me purchase fabric you're you're watching me put fabric into my cart to see how much fabric 
would cost. Oh, 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 because it's on sale, it'd be 50 pounds for five meters. Alison, you are a terrible influence. I don't need any more fabric. <laughs> ah, stop it. <laughs> Lynn says hi to Julie. Christine says good morning, peeps, and beautiful Sean. What are you up to? I'm going to play with my sparkly things. Uh, Julie says I've been um, future. Uh, putrefied picture in messenger in messenger chat oh come on computer not computer phone words are hard i know what i mean well i can't find it julie i can't find it um Laura says project for awesome a fundraiser by John and Hank Green of Log Brothers. Oh cool. Project for awesome. Okay, cool. Elena says yes, that sparkly fabric that you just bought will look good as that dress. That sparkly fabric I I'm probably never going to use because it literally sheds glitter the second you look at it. Like I'm already everything in here is already covered with glitter. Here we go, Julie. Ah, yeah, you can't move. No, she can't move. She trapped under cat. Look at the naughtiness. You can you have to stay still until until the cat decides to leave. So you could be you could be there for a while. Um, Catherine says hello all. Hello, Rotten Rouse says I drop in for project for awesome project for awesome periodically. I'm going to have to check it out. Thank you. Lynn says, put down the phone. Oh. Why? Why must why must you taunt me with pretty fabric that I need? Cecilia's laughing. Carolyn says, thanks for the chat. Have a nice day week. Thank you, Carolyn. You too. Julie says, no, Sean, bad. <laughs> Conchetta says, I was going to say, step away from the phone. Julie says, down. Conchetta says, but it is on sale. <laughs> Julie says, no, Sean, put it down. Ju Jojo says, breaking strain of a Kit Kat. <laughs> you guys, you just got to stop tempting me. Um, Elena says, no, Sean, you're going live fabric shopping soon. This is true. Foxy st Stitcher says, don't do it. Alison says, go on, you know you want to. You guys, it's like the little um, angel and devil on either shoulder, isn't it? It's like... <laughs> Oh no. Uh, Cecilia says, I suggest stroking your current fabric that you that would be similar. Remind the brain that you have what you love already. I mean, this is the tr this is true because I have very many fabrics in here that are very similar to that, but without the pink flowers. I don't have one with pink flowers. I don't have a leafy fabric like that with pink flowers all over it just putting that out there this is, this, is, this is what happened when Jane tagged me in that um in in that rose fabric like in sitting here with mum and I was just like <gasps> put it in the basket and then I was like no no I don't need it I don't need it I don't need it it's a black background no 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 have enough fabric have beautiful fabric don't need it mum's like I'm very proud of you I was like great and then she left and it was like bye <laughs> Breaking strain of the Kit Kat. Um, I mean, technically, have I said I'm on a fabric buying ban? I don't think I've actually said those words. I've said I want to try and sew from my stash this year, but that's a very different thing, right? Right? <laughs> um cecilia says i suggest uh, yeah i read that one julie says there you go rotten rouse says phone is computer more computing power than the, um than they had going to the moon yeah 
I mean, it is. It is, isn't it, basically? Uh, Julie says, Ralph, yep. Um, and Julie says, he has fallen asleep. Oh, so Nimoy is back. Ralph says, I was trapped under bits until she left and now I can type. Oh, so good. Christine says, go for it. <laughs> Nina says, I... I went to look at the Merchant and Meals online store for the first time this week, and boy, was it a mistake. <laughs> um, Darshna uh, says, is that pink from the flowers your pink? Yes. And mm. Mm. Alison, what have you done? <laughs> Cecilia says, okay, pink flowers are a must. <laughs> Jojo says, do eat. You know you want to. Conchetta says, I mean, do you need the pink flowers to complete the set? I love you guys so much. You're awesome. Julie says, you have no more leafy um, cubbyhole room. True. That is true. That is true. Well, Ralph says, Julie, we call them computers instead of Turing machines because NASA used people instead of machines and they were computers. Lol. Ah. Debbie says, darn it, I fancy a Kit Kat now. <laughs> <laughs> Dasha says you need swatches of your most loved fabrics to put in a quilt design you can then stroke that lol oh, yeah. actually you know what I did think about cutting out like um squares of everything of a fab every fabric I use this year to make a quilt and it was just like uh in theory it's a good idea but it's going to be a really small quilt and I yeah yeah I did think about it I did think about it um, Olivia says, good morning from Iowa. I'm late. What are we doing today? We are watching the not so internal debate about whether I need this fabric or not. I mean, Fabric Godmother Mother is a small business within the sewing community and it would be very nice to support them as well. Like, can you see the halo above? <laughs> uh, Christine says, ooh, definitely. Darshan says, bye, 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 as colours as colors experiment. Rotten Ralph says, oh dear. Cecilia says, even if it's not a match, it's uh, small enough to not to be, it's small enough not to be noticeable. And Julie says, no, bad. <laughs> Conchetta says, Olivia, currently we are either empowering or discouraging Sean's fabric buying. Karen says, yes, a perfect match for your colour palette. Elena says, whispering. You can buy waterproof, fa waterproof fabric and make an extra cute bag for your dancing shoes. I have waterproof fabric for dancing shoes bag. All the way from Ibiza. I need to make a retreat bag out of this. I sent um, Rachel some for part of her um, advent calendar this year. Ah! 
I don't need more fabric, but I want it. <laughs> um, Cecilia says, what would you make with it if you had it now? After having put this dress on today, probably one of these, you know what, you guys are probably going to get incredibly sick of seeing this silhouette this summer. If I can, if I can fit back into my dresses, I'm going to be good at making a whole bunch more of them. You're probably going to get really fed up with it. Um, let's see. Darshana says, uh, if you buy it, make it in March, you don't need a cubbyhole space. Yep. Ooh, it could look really pretty as one of the Gertie dresses, couldn't it? Sumo says, I'm getting a cat. It's a trial first to see if my dogs and the new boy will work, but super excited. Watch this space. Also, hi, peeps. Simone, that is awesome. What are you going to call it? Are you waiting till you meet it to find out what you're going to call it? I'm so excited. Uh, Darshan says, I have swatches in a book. Yeah. I like the idea of that, but I do have a lot of fabric. I did at one point when I was in, when we were back in Idol Rocks, I did go through and take swatches of all the fabrics that I had in my pirate capsule collection um, um, that I wanted to make. I took swatches of everything, put it on cards, and then kind of paired it with patterns and things. But I ended up never looking at those again. So for me, it didn't really work. Um, but I like the idea of it, definitely. Alison says to Simone, um watch jackson galaxy youtube video on how to introduce do uh, your dogs to a cat yeah i mean jackson galaxy just like all of these videos are brilliant so highly recommend highly highly recommend jane says so pretty richmond is a print with um horse chestnut flowers and leaves very unusual rotten ralph says you're using your the horns to twirl your halo with <laughs> I mean, can you simultaneously have like little devil horns with the like holding up your holding up your halo? <laughs> uh, Catherine says, now looking at fabric godmother, haven't rummaged there before. Oh, maybe I need to buy this before anyone else steals it from me. <laughs> Eliza says, do it! I can see the strain you're going through. Life is short. What Ralph says, magnificent. Jojo says, you know there are going to be almighty peeps cheer when Sean presses by. Oh, you guys. You guys. Okay, let's let some, let Fabric Godmother exclusive printed onto the most wonderful quality cotton lawn dress making fabric. Fabric Godmother has developed these fabrics in an exclusive capital exclusive collaboration with Print Pattern Archive, bringing, bringing vintage prints to life. Conjuring memories of a walk in the park, this vibrant printed design features fresh foliage and pretty blossoms. This is a super fine cotton lawn with fantastic qual colour quality and beautiful crisp finish. It's 100% cotton, 76 GSM and 147 centimetres wide. Oh, oh no, I appear to have fallen into the checkout part of the website. Alison! Oh, no, it wants a phone number. Okay, I'm going to have my phone number. Thanks, 
Thank you, Sean. Your order number is you have just paid Fabric Godmother. <laughs> Alison, it's all your fault. <laughs> oh, shit. Breaking strain of a Kit Kat. Oh, dear. Ellen says, if you check sewing times on YouTube, she has two different types of very easy, quick make shoe bag patterns. Awesome. Thank you. Simone says he either has his either three or seven and already called Neo, his current owner recently passed away. Oh, oh, so sad. Neo is a great name for a kitty. Elena says, it's not the halo. It's the lightning between the horse. Oh, there's, there's a definite halo up there. <laughs> Catherine says, I was tempted by the wine red stretch cord, but out of stock. So I can join the look at my um, effing red trousers crew. <laughs> yeah, you'd fit right in with a cow's week for sure. For sure. Simone says, my sister would like to see a full length of the dress you are wearing, please. Sure. It is. Not like majorly groundbreaking or anything. Um, but yes, KB Grace dress. I mean, it's a teeny tiny little spring summer dress and it's still February, but I just fancy wearing it this morning and it fits. And I haven't have fit for years, so I'm very excited. Um, Conchetta says, What and Ralph, I get it. My horns hold my halo straight. Exactly. Exactly. What the fuck? Where did you come from? Oh, wow. That is a really big wasp. You're not really going to want to go outside, are you? How, where, where have you been hibernating? <laughs> it's really big. I think it's a wasp. It's fairly wasp shaped. Oh, it's sitting on Mutley. You stay up there. You behave. Just stay away from me. Uh, Christine says, good. Um, good 5 a.m. morning from California. Just dropping by to leave some thumb DNA and hang out for a tiny bit. Welcome, Christine. Thank you for joining us. Tristan says, buy it, buy it. Cecilia says, yay. Mim says, can you show the tempted fabric again? I missed it. Yes. I mean, I needed it. Right? I needed it. Um... <laughs> Jojo's laughing at Elena's, Elena's um, it's not the halo, it's the lightning between the horns <laughs> comment. Rotten Ralph says it, it's on sale. Judy says, you don't need it. I'm going to call your mom. <laughs> um, Rotten Ralph says, you're powerless against the gravity of the purchase button. I know. Like, you guys saw how that happened. It wasn't my fault. It's all Alison's fault. <laughs> Breaking strain of a Kit Kat. Uh, as useful as a chocolate teapot is my self-control and willpower. Um, Conchetta says, the fabric fell into your cart. What could you do? You need anything else to save on shipping? Do you need anything else to save on shipping? Actually, I didn't, I didn't even look to see what the minimum spend with free shipping was. I think it's £80, and I would have needed to spend another 30 to do that. And the shipping came out at, like, £2.50. It would have been difficult to justify. <laughs> uh, Eliza says, lol, a Julie. Jane says, uh, cheetah viscose lawn also in coral with leaves on sale. Oh, my God, you've got to stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Sale. Sale. Let's have a look. <gasps> it's not my well is it my colors though oh so many people have made this one up and it looks beautiful as well 
Oh my gosh, you guys. I was very tempted by something like this for the red dress. I thought it would end up looking very Iron Man, my red pencil dress, but I went for um, red holographic um, um, PVC instead, because I think that's going to look really cool too. And not quite so Iron Man, although I'm not ruling out making an Iron Man dress. Ooh, they've got the Lady McElroy Lush Living on sale. It's only a pound off, but still, if anyone's after that, You guys are a terrible influence. And it's why I love you and hang out with you so often. I'm being good, I'm being good, I'm being good. Oh, oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this a viscose georgette in coral with stripes of flowers on it? Oh, that's pretty. I'm really glad that I didn't look at these before. Oh my god, it's down to two ninety nine a meter. You've got a just. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming all of you. All of you. It is all of your faults. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Nope, 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 nope. I don't don't need oh no. No, I don't need any more of these fabrics. I don't need any more fabric. I don't Their dragon one is on sale. The dragon one is on sale. <laughs> I don't need any more fabric. I am behaving. I am. Oh my God, how many pages long is this sale? So many pretty fabrics in here. Seriously, guys, if you are looking for very pretty fabrics at good prices, then the Fabric Godmother sale is the place to be. Clearly, I need to stop looking. I need to stop looking. I need to stop looking. I'm not going to stop looking. Oh, uh, oh, 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 it's this, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. There's just more and more pages of really pretty fabrics. Oh, I think, oh no, I was going to say, I think we're into the patterns now, but no, more fabric. Oh, who was looking for the, someone was looking for the um, Tilio, um in the Peeps group. Someone was looking for the, um, the stretch sateen that um, they put like a they put a, a shirt dress uh, thing up. It's on sale, three ninety nine a meter, and it is navy despite the fact that it looks black on the background. I have to I have to remember that. Like yeah. Oh, I need to stop. I'm 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 not stopping though, am I? Oh, I've got to the end. I, I I have already clicked, pressed, purchased, and checked out that striped Visco Georgette though the coral one with the stripes of stripes of um, flowers on it. 
Oh, that's pretty. Jane, oh, Jane, it's your fault again, like tempting me to go and look at Cheetah Visco's lawn with also cold. Mm. Oh. It's texting me now. It's one of you going, do it. I bet you it's one of you going, do it. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's Julie saying no. <laughs> oh, dear. That's too funny. That is too funny. That's too funny. Um, Cecilia's laughing at Julie. Jojo says, hooray. No Noelia is laughing at me. Conchetta says, thank you for supporting a small business. Exactly. Historically fashion, like champagne bottle. Yes. Yes. Uh, Catherine says, anyway, you're safe. You are a spring and I'm a winter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alison says, my work is done for now. Alison, you're a terrible lady. Jane says, oh, God, Pampas Fisco's crepe is marvellous too. Yep. And Julie says, bad. <laughs> and laughy face. Yeah. Uh, Sue says, ooh, just been downstairs. What have you just bought? Nothing. I, I, I didn't purchase anything. Nothing to see here. Um, Christine says, caved in and bought the Richmond fabric. Shh. Simone says gorgeous. Nimue says, oh no, it's too early for wasps. Nope. Yeah, like what is that nope doing? Noping and it's just it's 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 I think it's staying still now. I haven't heard it fly around for a while. Conchetta says, for a, for a moment I thought a Jurassic bird had snuck in. I mean the size of this wasp, this wasp is a Jurassic wasp. And they breed everything big down here. Now, I haven't seen any pigeons this morning or crows or anything. But big wasp, big wasp. Um, uh, Dasha says, whoop, you bought it. Can't wait to see what you make. Uh, Rotten Ralph says, poor, poor wasp, it fell for the full spring. Yeah, yeah, I think it's in for a bit of a shock. Uh, Angel says, so I've just been told by my husband, if I didn't buy fabric today, that you were sending a virus to my computer. <laughs> Uh, so I've just told my husband, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, it's totally my fault. Like, you need fabric as well. If I buy, if I'm buying fabric, everyone should buy fabric. Definitely. Uh, Dasha says the wasp has got to go. Have you seen those nests? Yeah, I'm slightly worried that it might be in the roof because it kind of came from over there. But we'll see. It's, it's, it's sh there's only the one, and it's shut up so far. So yeah. Uh, Nimoy says, also, I second sewing times on YouTube for great bag tutorials. Lots of more and less simple options for all purposes. Nice. Joe says, the panic when you think you pass, the panic when you think the past you only pattern matched using seam allowance, not the full bottom band fold over. The joy when you discover that past you was cleverer than you gave credit, gave you gave you credit for. Nice. Christine says, my new thing in 23 I buy what to I will make now and in between I use my stash so you need it yeah 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 and I can now like wait until March until I go to the Gold Hawk Road to buy fabric do you want to see the comically small amount of space that I've allowed myself in my bullet journal for fabric purchases <laughs> the comically small amount of space that I have allowed myself for, for, for fabric purchases. And this is what I've bought so far this year. <laughs> so technically this page is meant to be my gift um, page from stuff that you guys send me because you guys are incredibly generous and send me gifts. Um, but I'm thinking it's gonna end up being the second page of my fabrics and then I'm gonna put the gifts a little bit further along because I've got, then I've got my, what I've made this year. And I've only got two pages of that because I kind of think I'm gonna end up not making as much stuff this year. Um, and then I've got two like pages here that could be anything. So this this one of these is going to probably end up being my gift page um, because I am already at the point with my fabric purchasing page 
So I thought I'd keep track this year because I was like, yeah, I'm not going to buy much much fabric this year. I mean, what was I thinking? Ah. What was I thinking? Um, let's see. Let's see. Mim says, ooh, that's really pretty, but the red flower fabric you purchased last week, um, also totally love. Like uh, this one or this one? This one, I, yeah, this one. Like, it is beautiful. But guys, I sewed this, because you know I've retraced my By Hand London Anna Bodice to be my new size. I've sewed this up and it's actually a little bit big. I mean, nice problems to have, right? Um, and it's not the worst thing in the world. It doesn't look bad, but it is a little, a little bit big. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, the dress is cut out for that. I just need to sew that up as well. Uh, Elena says, chat is made of evil enablers today. Yes, yes it is. Mim says, have you ever had a look at um, Dress and Stoffen? They have beautiful viscoses and they are so cheap. No, no, I have not. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Catherine says, but will it be an Iron Man bustle dress? Oh, costume Noelle's Iron Man bustle dress is amazing. No, it was going to be like a 1950s pencil wiggled skirted like Iron Man dress. Um, but no, that bustle dress is, is amazing. Um, Julie says, no, Shan, I'll call her, I promise. <laughs> Cecilia says, not your colours, though, according to my screen settings, at least. Which one? The coral one. The coral is definitely my colours. <laughs> that coral one is beautiful. I really kind of wish I'd seen it beforehand because, again, two ninety nine a metre. I could order it and then message them tomorrow and just say, could you combine my shipping? <laughs> uh, Jenny Lee says, now I'm fabric shopping, lol. Yes, if I'm fabric shopping, you should be too. Definitely. Uh, Rotten Ralph says, Iron Man pencil dress could twin with Noelle, costuming drama and her Iron Man bustle dress. Alison <laughs> says, get it. <laughs> yeah, that would be really cool. I mean, I'm not, if, if this red one comes out well, I'm not ruling out getting some holographic gold foil to do an Iron Man. I mean, it wouldn't be like a proper Iron Man kind of dress, but like an inspired, that would end up being what it would look like. I would totally wear that to a convention. That would be very cool. Uh, Elena says, Sean, you will have no budget left for shopping in London. This is true. This is true. In February and January have been particularly crappy for YouTube um, AdSense. So, but, 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 um, because I am going up to London and coming back in the same day, not being able to buy all of the fabric might not be the worst thing in the world. Oh, Wasp is on the move again. It's a big bugger. That thing is huge. Oh dear. Sorry, distraction, distraction. Jojo says, is this now classed as a spectator sport? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Eliza says, put it down. Julie, um, hurry, call Jane. <laughs> Nimue says, blaming us checks out. I quietly blame you and your bad influence in socialising me into the sewing community every time I overindulge on fabric. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> um... Conchetta says, I would expect you to do the same for me, Sean. Should we ever fabric shop together? If you make it to mood, I'll see you there. Done job. 
done job. Catherine says, very much a spectator sport. I just had to replace my computer monitor. <laughs> Julie says, I did. She's out with the puppy. Yes. Yeah, she's out walking the dog. I'm safer and I'm safer now. Uh, Jojo says, long suffering husband has just said, you wouldn't be looking if you didn't want to buy anything. You can tell he lives with me, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Darshan says, if you're going to actually lie fabric shop, you should totally hold off. Yes. No, I know. I know. I know. I should. I hadn't even. I hadn't even thought about looking at the fabric godmother fabric sale section until you guys pointed it out to me. So it's totally your fault. <laughs> Jane says, "Yeah, being naughty is fun." Uh huh. Mim is laughing. Sue says, "Tut tut, lol." I know. D Grace says, "I'm just going to pretend that they don't ship to me. I can't do more fabric this month." Oh my word! The lemons on navy background sounds wonderful. Who wanted that in the peeps group? Because I know there was somebody in the peeps group um, that um, that wanted that particular fabric. Because they put it up and they asked if anyone had seen it. And I said to Google Telio cotton satin because that was the the um, the name of the brand the, the, with the fabric that. Uh, I've got the I've got the um, turquoise print one up there. I did think there it is, Elena. It's you, Elena. Now it wasn't. It was you that posted it. Now who wanted it? Bianca. Did it, it was Julie. Right. Okay. Let's help Julie. So let's see now. I don't want to have to go through all of that fabric again. So let's search the store for lemons. There it is on sale. Let's get the let's copy the link. Um, and let's tell Julie that we found it. Paste and it's on sale. There we go. I've been helpful. Look at me being helpful. Uh, right. Tashla says, um, I so don't want to look. I ended up buying a cover stitch old machine yesterday and while in the sewing machine shop, hubby tempted me, so I bought a computerized machine, my first one. Whoops. Impressive. I love mine. I love my baby. She is wonderful. She is a she, apparently. She still doesn't have a name. Catherine says, uh, mammogram next week, first ever, dentist week after. I can have fabric afterwards. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, Judy, your kitty is being very cute. Praying mantis paws. Praying mantis paws. That's very cute. Very cute. Very cute. But yeah, no, um, yeah, totally. Catherine, 100% fabric needed for both two sets of fact, two pieces of fabric. Uh, anyway, says, peeps, I behaved for all of us this week, went out to went by the fabric shop after x-rays at the dentist and walked out empty-handed. Impressive. Laurel says, good morning all. Good morning. Alison says, I also bought the Kiss Kiss Cotton Lawn just because I liked it. I too bought the Richmond fabric as it was on sale with the Dahlia Society online shop here in Australia. Nice. Moom says, yeah, the Anabodice red fabric is so beautiful. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to having my 7537 in it. That's, I might do that this afternoon now, actually. I might get that sign up this afternoon because, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do the filming for the video tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah, I'm still I'm sitting here with this box of trims open in front of me and we're still just discussing fabric. Um, Vox 3D is laughing. Uh, Elena says to Nimue, I made sewing times a diaper bag from um, diaper backpack from waterproof fabric two years ago as a school bag for my son. Nice. Uh, Vox3D says, do not go to dress and stuff in. It is dangerous. I always spend more than intended. Yeah. 
I am. Um, I don't. I don't need fabric. I want it, but I don't need it. Uh, Alison says, Sean, you should check out um, least Taylor patterns and fabrics. There is one pattern I think you would love. It's called Belle de Chant, and I think it would really suit you. Okay, what was what was it called? Least Taylor patterns. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's close the fabric garden of the site so that I don't go back and buy that sh georgette because I don't need it. Um, what what am I looking at? L I S E. And okay, let's have a look. Okay, 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 patterns, sewing. It's talking French at me. Let's have. Oh, that is a pretty dress. I have something similar though, but that is a very pretty dress. I can see why you think I would like it. I'm trying, as you guys know, to be slightly better about patterns, but that is pretty. I do like that, but I do have something similar already. So must behave. Can't behave around fabric, getting better about behaving around patterns. Olivia says, after it took me two days to go through my wall of fabric and a few days to recover as I have physical limitations, I'm not buying any more fabric at this moment. I am very grateful that you put that caveat in at the end there, Olivia. Um, but yes. Darshan says, I'm worried it's a queen wasp looking to nest. I'd be so scared in I'd be so scared in my fabric room. Yeah, I am not dealing with it at the ooh, actually it's on a window. Let me see if I can go and open the window so it goes outside. Although that bugger is huge. Are you a wasp? Yes, you're a wasp. Okay. Yes! Success! Oh, I can't close the window. I pushed it too far open. Success! Wasp is out. Wasp is gone. I am brave. I deserve fabric for that, right? <laughs> I deserve fabric for that. I totally do. <laughs> um, Christine says, the lemons have sold out. Just checked. Oh. Oh, that's sad. I didn't mean to tempt that lady with, with sold out fabric. Oh. Uh, Rachel says, I can't believe you've looked at the fabric uh, goth mother sale. <laughs> can't believe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. I, I don't need any new fabric. Um, Rock Mouse says to Catherine, you can definitely have fabric after that. Yes, I agree. Debbie says, please get the wasp out. If it's that big, it might be a queen looking for a nest site. Yes, no, I, yeah, yeah. I was waiting for the perfect opportunity and it, and it just happened. Uh, Nimoy says, and now I'm staring at the viscose linens on Dress and Stuff and <laughs> Dangerous. And Sue says, me too, to Nimoy. Oh, dear. Tristan says, I have to go now. The family is up. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. You too. Uh, Julie says, I need to go fabric shopping in a few days. I'm very bad at that. Oh, that'll be fine. Fabric shopping is always awesome. Uh, Una says, well done, Sean. Yes. I have braved the wasp. I feel very proud. Um, Rotten Ralph says opening up the window for it to, to leave is, is always good yeah no it was it was crawling along the window so I just like pushed it through and it just it just sort of like went oh freedom and it's probably going to go outside and freeze now but yeah it was a big bugger um, Una says I've tried releasing the top of my fox hill sleeve and it's definitely improved how it sits but has not solved the back of sleeve bunching. Yeah, I saw that you put a photo up in the Peeps group. If anyone's got any fitting tips for Una, that would be awesome. Uh, Gig Racer says, there are floral leafy cheetahs on a variety of colored backgrounds. I may have fallen into the checkout vortex. Oh no. Oh no. Whoops. Enjoy. Yeah, I saw those ones as well. They, there's a coral colored one, isn't there? 
Rotten Ralph says, you preemptively bought your fabric for the wasp. Yeah. Don't I deserve a reward as well? <laughs> I'm trying to find ways to justify going back and getting that chiffon, that Georgette. I don't need it. Don't need it. I do not need it. Mim says, the digital viscoses are so stunning. Bought nine. <laughs> I love the number 10001 or 10030 uh, 30 strike three. <laughs> I need to not look. I need to not I need to not go back on there because we all know that I have zero willpower and I've managed to get, make it through once with only buying one thing. If I go back, I'm going to buy the other things. Um, right. So I thought I had more of these florals. I thought I had a couple more, um, but the, I, they're all over Etsy. So I can go back and get a couple more for the dress because I do think that it would be really pretty to have kind of like... Um, <laughs> Like yeah, have them kind of like going up and down the dress like that. Stay, stay there, stay there, stay there, don't fall. And then kind of like maybe have the leaves going around, like building building it up with the leaves. I think I, I mean obviously this is not great because I've got like such a pattern dress on underneath. But yeah, I think the McCall seven four um nine four in white, viscose twill, with these then sewn onto it. It's going to look really cute and I do think I need to go and get two more of the floral ones so I can like mirror this on the other side I think that's going to be a really pretty dress um and that's what I bought these for and then as I say I've got lots of pairs of these leafy ones so I could continue the kind of leafy motif down the dress as well if I wanted to it depends how much hand sewing I want to do but these were from Etsy and I think they're really really pretty um, so we all know that these were my dressmaker's ball pieces. I have four of these. I need to find the perfect coloured silk dupuni for these. So I actually might, I might take this to the Goldhawk Road with me and go to Gold, um, Goldhawk Fabrics because they have a wall of dupuni and um, see if I can find one that works really well for these because I still want to make that dress and it's actually going to be this bodice. Um, so yeah, it's going to be this bodice and the they're going to kind of sort of like, like do, do, uh, do this. So kind of like cup up the figure and kind of like go up and then around but still highlight the waist um so yeah because this was the bodice I was using for my dressmaker's ball dress uh then I've got this one that I got from the show which I actually again think <laughs> that this bodice um and do I have a something here that would go well with this I don't I need to get myself a gold one, gold silk do peony. But <laughs> see this dress, I love this, I love this pattern so much, but I I think on like a pale gold with this would look amazing. And then having like a, a shrug like this, but in the matching fabric, but with um velvet as the collar and cuffs, I think that would look beautiful. So yeah, I like that a lot. And um, this one I actually have sewn onto a dress and then took it off because I didn't like how it ended up looking. Um, but again, <laughs> it looks quite nice on that neckline. So I'm not ruling out doing putting this back onto something in the future. Um, but the red silk belt that I made for my By Hand London Anna dress that I've remade. And then I've got all of the pansy trim that I bought to possibly do something with for that dress. Um, this is so pretty. I was thinking to kind of like make a detachable belt for that dress. So that was the idea was kind of to put the, to hand sew the pansy trim onto this belt and then have it as a detachable piece so that I could have it or not um, because Whilst I really like it, I also really like the plain dress by itself. But I bought quite a lot of that. 
that's another thing that we this if I got some more red silk do peony this could work really well like as straps so like have that as, as a strap and then also around the waist so mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna get messages this year from people just seeing saying like stop making this dress like no I like this dress and I love the fact that I can wear it in cotton as a sun, summer dress and then make it up in like fancy fabrics for um something a little bit grander I can't remember where this came from I have no idea what I'm going to do with this probably lingerie of some kind so it's probably in the wrong box probably ought to go in the lingerie box to be honest let's let's change that over put that in the lingerie box um <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Nimoy says, I closed the website but saved it to my bookmarks. Might revisit when things feel more summery. Mim says, I use the viscoses as wearable muslins because they are relatively cheap but have good quality. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Darshan says, a hand sewing dress would be a good project to do during your lives. Busy hands can shop less if you need to hold it strategy. <laughs> Trouble is, if I do hand sewing, I kind of like end up back here and then concentrating on this and then I don't read the chat and yeah, it's not, it, like the sewing, the sewing is kind of like secondary to the lives hangout now. It's just nice hanging out and chatting with you guys and um, enabling each other and every now and again reorganising stuff and just seeing what I've got. Uh, Mim says to Nimway, they receive new fabrics every week and they deliver very fast to Germany. You can't stop this. Gig Racer says the lemons on the navy background have already sold out sadly that's what I went to look at ended up with one of the cheetah prints whoops glad it wasn't just me they're kind of the fabric on are going to be like why have I suddenly had a weird influx of orders <laughs> in a short, short space of time it's like yes it's all Alison's fault and uh, Dasha says what overlocker threads do you buy also I get mine from Amazon um, it's £10 for four kinds. I've used them for everything. They're really good. Uh, actually, that's a good point. Let's go and put these away because their cubby hole is empty. So let's do that. Tidying up. So very slowly tidying up whilst hanging out with you guys. Oh, got itchy does. Uh, right, so I found this giant motif on um, Etsy and I bought it because I have the matching boots. 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 Images. And I've got the blue ones. Okay. So yeah, I own those. So I thought, because this is me, I'm going to make a matching handbag. Um, I've only ever worn these, these boots once. I wore them on a date, like a first date, because uh, I actually... <laughs> So back when I started dating Wilson, I started, uh, again for the second time, I started dating a guy on the Isle of Wight. And um, yeah, that I wore those gray jeans and, uh, no, blue jeans, gray, gray t-shirt and my parrot lupin jacket for the date. So there was a bit of color and craziness, but it was actually a fairly kind of like restrained date outfit. Oh, I thought you should know, sorry. Um, but that's the only time I've worn those boots and I love them and <laughs> I'm gonna try I've, I've got to send Nicholas some pictures of things that I want to style so she's got an idea of where to start but that's one of the pieces that I want to style and I tried them on the other day um, with tights because I always kind of thought oh I can't really wear shorter boots like that without covering them up with like the top of the, my leg up because it, it cuts my leg off in a wrong in like a bad place but trying them on, it was just like, you know what? No, actually, they look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I saw this, and I kind of think that I need to make myself a matching hand. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, this one. 
This one I think I'm going to put on a, like a back of a t-shirt. I've actually seen um, some um, um, uh, camisoles, words are hard, where they've got this like underneath and then all the fabric cut out away from the camisole which I thought looked amazing, but I've only got one of them and I couldn't find a, like a second one to, so I could repeat like that. But I am looking out for something like this again to do that. But I think I want to put this on the back of like a really plain ivory um, viscose t-shirt um, just to give it a little bit of interest. Um, then I have a really large black one. Which again, I think I want to do the same. I think I want to put it on the back because I want to cut out behind the fabric, or put this over a mesh, like a um, a. Is that mum? No, that's not mum. Put this over like a black mesh, and then um, have that as a cut out on the back. I think that would look really pretty. Ah, Cecilia says, "I love the silhouette that you chose. If you make, if it makes you feel like you, then go full full steam." Uh, Darshan says, it's really nice just to chat. Yes. Uh, Cecilia says, have you worn a giant sleeve top under that style of dress or made one with sleeves? I haven't, actually. Um, the, the, uh, I don't know if it would work or not. I think um, putting sleeves onto the straps and having, like, long bishopy sleeves that come from the straps could look really, really cool. And trying to draft that shape would be interesting. Um, but because it's so low cut at the back as well, because I, I don't know if my bra is actually showing today because I didn't, I was I was super careful when I put it on. But when, when I had this dress designed, I put this bra on and was just like, I need, like my, my it's literally there. I was just like, I need to be able to wear a bra. So I want this to just cover it. Um, so that's why it's got such thick straps because I do wear thick strap bras and it's why the um, straps and everything sit where they do. So like this dress was specifically designed around the balcony bras that I like. Um, but because it's so low at the back, I'm not sure putting like a, a bishopy sleeve shirt underneath would look that good because I think it would bubble up at the top. Um, Nimoy says to Mim, Stop the enabling. I need to have at least an inkling if I want enough for a top or a dress, even if the price is very convincing. Alison Allison says, my fillings fell out that I had done only last October, um, fell out last week, and I finally have a dentist appointment on Tuesday. I have bought some fabric to compensate not being able to eat. Reasonable, completely reasonable. Uh, Judy says, going now, there is a uh, color and noise on the TV. Thank you for joining us, Julie. It was really nice to see you. Mim says, I do love a regular choice shoes. They are so special. I have only one pair and rarely wear them. I have a lot of pairs and I rarely wear them. And that's actually something that I would like Nicola to help me with. Um, Nicola's the lady that did my colours, if I haven't said that. Um, but yeah, she's coming back on th Thursday the 23rd. Yeah, Thursday the 23rd, she's come, coming back to do some styling with me um, and show you guys. Oh, and um, I was talking to her the other day, they've revised the way that they do colours so that she can do an online appointment with you now. So we're going to talk about that as well. So if anyone does want to get Nicola to do their colours, you can have it done online now, which is really cool. Um, Rotten Mouse says bye to Julie. Dashna says, good plan, Alison. Hope you feel better soon. Uh, Mim says, and ah, and I posted my fabric purchases in the Peeps group. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, no. Oh, that looks so similar to the dragonfly one that you love. Let's see why you put. Oh no! Oh, 
That is stunning. Oh no. I mean, I, I, I do like that one as well, but I have something very similar to that one. Mim, she's saying, she's like, she's like, sorry, not sorry, and only five year old meter. Sorry. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Mm. Darshna says, pain distraction is a thing. Yep, yeah, totally. Uh, Rock Mouse says, um, power mesh underlay. Yep. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I think that would be a really good idea. Darshan says, love the boots, totally saw a handbag with matching piece. Yeah, I think that's going to look really pretty. And those boots are kind of like a sparkly unis unicorn skin blue. And I have, um, not that it's easily accessible, but I do have some A4 panels of holographic um, a, a sparkly fabric that I think I'm going to try and, in, and incorporate into it. Um, Elena says those lace applications will look good with bright, colourful, and printed fabrics. Also, yeah. Uh, Alison says to Dashna, "Thank you. I was lucky enough to get an earlier appointment with my dentist. Hope I don't have to pay again. Fingers crossed." Yeah. Julian's here. Hello, everyone. Just stopping in for a bit. Very nice to see you. Uh, Alison says hi to Julian. So does Rotten Ralph. And yeah, Mim is saying sorry, not sorry. Only five euros a meter. And she's blowing me kisses. Like uh, no, Mim, no. No, 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 no. Uh, this one is a very beautiful trim that actually does have like a seam allowance on it. And I was thinking about having this scent because I think I've got a meter of it. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking about having this one sent to um, 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 where was I thinking of having this scent? Harlequin, who make my belts and having it made into a belt because I think that could look really effective. Um, because I'm not sure what else I would do with it. The other thing I could do with it would be like the night and day dress has like a, a, a square collar, so I could obviously mitre the corners, but it could also look pretty cool. like as a square collar around um, the neckline. Obviously, like I said, I would mitre the corners rather than just fold them. What do you guys think, belt or neckline? Because I could make the dress like in a hot pink. Hot pink cotton as uh, silk du peony. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Sophie says cuffs with the fabric. Um, Catherine says that's giving Durndor vibes. Uh, Lena says belt. Lauren says necklace. Foxy says belt. Rotten Ralph says square collar. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I like I bought it from one of the shows, and I kind of wish I'd bought more. But yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, Una says night and day square collar. I'm sh I'm not sure you've enough plain separate dresses to wear it as often as a belt that is a very good point although i do have some purple what's my purple silk on hello I've lost, I've lost my purple silk. Where's that gone? Is it in here? I don't think it's in here. I've lost my silk. Uh, excuse me. Where are you hiding? Where, 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 where are you hiding? There you are. I don't 
looks better with the one tone silk than it does with the two tone silk, doesn't it? They were in the wrong cubby hole. They need to move. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that one yet. I'm not sure what to do with that one yet. Um, this one is just really, really pretty. And again, it would like I would use it like I did on the parrot die stress as like um a trim to kind of be sewn on top of seam lines to bring those out. Uh, it's just holographic ribbon. It should be in the ribbon collection, to be fair. That should be in the ribbon collection. And then that probably should be in the lingerie collection. Just lots of little laces. I'm going to make some of that embroidery on blaze that you put ribbons through. That's really pretty. It's from Nana Stash. All of these are from Nana Stash. Then I've got some more of that pansy one, but this time in the blue colorway. And I bought that much of it because I wanted to put it around the edge of a circle skirt for like a blue silk blue peony dress. I'm not sure I want to do that anymore. So I'm not sure what I want to do with this, but it is utterly beautiful. Um, this one I got from Saudi Arabia. They tried to talk me out of it. They were like, no, it's not very good quality. And to be fair, the crystals do fall off the second you look at it, but it is very, very pretty. Um, this one is the leftovers from my sister-in-law's wedding dress. There's a tiny little bit there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. And then this one, we went shopping for my sister-in-law's wedding dress trim without fabric and I was convinced it was much bluer than it was and it turned out it was much more turquoisey teal green so I've ended up with a lot of this trim which is obviously on a silver background and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but I do have some silk dupioni that matches it so I'll do something with it um got some ribbon that should be in the ribbon trim some little black satin bows that should be in the lingerie and oh this one is stunning oh as is this one um so again like a gold silver floral i've not got very much of this one not sure what i'm going to do with it really liked it but then i also bought this one to use with my black silk duke I need I wanted to make myself a black silk dress. This one was expensive, so I didn't buy very much of it. But it's got Swarovski crystals on it and it's a really pretty floral. And I'm thinking something like like around a neckline, because I've again I've not got a lot of it, but like just peeking over a neckline um, would be quite pretty, or again around around the waist forgotten about that one see this is why we do this remind me what I have in my stash and then these from what I remember are a bunch of little um, like little lace collar pieces which are very cute as well And then, oh, I've got another, another neckline piece. I've actually made a one of these dresses that had an embroidered motif on the bottom of it, and it's a white, like ivory cotton lawn, and the neckline looked quite bare. So this might be quite fun to put onto that if it matches the crochet lacy detail on the bottom of that fabric. So what I'm going to do later today actually is go through and see if, like, if any of my um, dresses actually do fit because that could be quite fun getting back in. So those need to go into the ribbons. These go back from there. And yeah. So I'm bummed about the fact that I can't find another one of this because I do really like the idea of it there I think it looked really effective on the on the image I saw right. 
items back in their box. So that's squishing things too, too much. Yeah, I definitely need some silk. Silk and matching velvet for an outfit with that because that just was going to look good. Yeah, this, this could end up being a really expensive trip to the Goldfield Road. I need velvet for the society dress. I need a um, I need a fabric for the uh, Hepburn top. Um, and then I want something to go with those crystals and then possibly the silk to go underneath the Dior silk skirts. So let's put that in ribbons. Let's tidy up after myself as I go, shall we? Put the ribbons away in the ribbon box. Add the lingerie bits to the lingerie box. Really got to get over my fear and get the lingerie attempted. And then let's put the trims away where they live if I can get the mannequin out of the way. There's one. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Okay, trims are away. Tidied up. That was good. It's nice to remind myself what I had as well. That's always good. That's always good. Eleanor says, uh, oft that trim has a similar pattern to that I want to embroider on my coat of dreams. What Ralph says, you haven't lost it, it's in a very safe place. Sarah says, I no longer buy trims because I never end up using them, saving them for a special project. They're so beautiful and I have um, cutting anxiety. Yes, no, I totally get that as well. I completely understand that. Um, Eleanor says, you could use the blue paisley trim for a neckline cuffs and waistband on some dresses. Yes, that would look pretty. Pansy trim, yes. Uh, Good Grace says, I recently bought a whole bunch of trims on sale at Pit Trading. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for yet, but they are pretty to look at. Yeah, my Pit Trading trims are over there. They don't fit in that box. So they, I've got a new trim box. I have so much stuff, I don't need any more stuff. Why did I buy more fabric? Because it was beautiful and I needed it. I'm getting the buyer's remorse already. <laughs> Angel says, family have arrived, got to run, everyone have a good day. Thank you for joining us, Angel. And Rotten Rouse says goodbye as well. Uh, Dasha says, the lace collar could work perfectly on fabrics you love that aren't the perfect colour for you. Yeah. Uh, Rotten Rouse says, you're going to need evening capes for your evening dresses. Yep. Uh, Diana says, I have to go cook dinner for the family. It was nice keeping your company with my sewing room today. Keep well. You too. Elena says that white gold um, piece belongs to some sort of superhero dress. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Dasha says, Sarah, I'm trying to overcome my fears, but by believing that stuff's sat in boxes and being saved as, is as wasteful as if I made the thing that I was going and it goes wrong. Show us your new trims. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I mean, this is the thing. This is why I'm doing the year of projects that scare me is because like, even if it goes wrong, like, my Ziggy jacket didn't turn out exactly how I had hoped. And I'm sad about that. But I'm so glad that I've tried. Because otherwise it could have just been, like, just sitting there just being, like, this project that was just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to do the thing. And then just never did the thing. I'm glad that I've tried. Um, I have enough of that fabric to make a beautiful bag with. So it's not the end of the world. Um, and honestly, it's a grey fabric as well, which I'm not meant to be wearing. She says wearing. I mean, technically this is, like, uh, gold silver rather than grey um, so you know but I'm really glad that I tried it and now that I have got my slave fitting me I am going to attempt 
to draft and make my own moto style jacket from my measurements rather than um, from like trying to retrofit a pattern company to fit me. And um, style arch block is clearly not designed for my shape, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, you're right. Like it is just as wasteful for me to leave those things sitting up there and not doing anything um, rather than try and use them and try try and make something with them that I love. And then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's not the end of the world. But yeah, cutting, I completely understand cutting fear, 100%. I, I get it. I totally get it. Adrienne says, I'm from, hi from Pennsylvania. I'm so excited to finally catch you live. I love your videos. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Sasha says, I bought the fabric because you need to play with the colour Colours for colour matching, proof of concept in life. Yes. Jojo says, ooh, I could do with going through my trim drawer. A box couldn't control the madness. I've completely forgotten what I have in there. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, Dasha says, cutting fear is real. Oh, totally. I, I 100%. I am totally with you on that. Like, completely agree. Um, but, I mean, like I say, even though... Even though the Ziggy didn't turn out how I had imagined it, I'm still really glad that I tried. So, yeah. Uh, guys, we've been waffling for two and a half hours and my tummy is starting to rumble. It's starting to say, oh, what? Excuse me. I am hungry. So I'm going to go and get myself some food. So like I say, sorry that there was no proper video this week, just shorts. And then there were three Patreon waffles for all the Patreon peeps. I'm going to go back to two Patreon peep waffles this week and then I am going to try and get the pattern, the Swiper Project pencil skirt address um, filmed and videoed, hopefully uploaded tomorrow, but it might be Tuesday. And then there's going to be a proper video, hopefully on Friday for you as well. As I say, I've got Nicola coming on Thursday to do a styling video with me. So that should be out the following week. So hopefully, and lots of shorts as well. So hopefully there should be some interesting stuff coming up this week. There will be a hangout next weekend as well. So I hope you've enjoyed. Everyone's saying goodbye. So thank you very much for hanging out with me. And I will see you all soon for more waffly goodness. And I will show you the fabric, what it looks like when it arrives. So thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.